Okay, so. Queso. Queso. We set out in search of salmon today. Hopefully that we could find some that wasn't farmed. We couldn't. We ended up at Sprouts, which wasn't as ravaged as most stores, but still, it was kind of gnarly in there. And busy too. But anyway, we ended up with some sockeye salmon and some uh, asparagus and Brussels, Brussels sprouts. sprouts. So we're gonna we're gonna smoke us some sockeye. <laughs> Side stop. One of the other things, the stuff part of the grub and stuff is, uh, part of it is motorcycles. We like motorcycles, so we're going to go in here and look at some, some Harleys. You just can't go into a Harley store and not come out with something. Exactly. So we ended up with a little cap for her grandson. Check it out. Hey everybody, we made it back from the store. We're gonna smoke this salmon. Well, first we're gonna brine it. So we've got uh, kosher salt, brown sugar, butter salmon. That's really all you need for the for the uh, for the brining process. So we're gonna put a cup of kosher salt. Well, maybe less than a cup because these salmon are a little bit small. But if you put too much salt it's gonna come out salty. And unless you like things really salty, that's probably not the way you wanna do it. There's Beth. Hi. So you want twice as much brown sugar as, as that. So we're gonna do a cup and a half of brown sugar. That's a lot of salt for the little pieces of salmon. We may have overdone it. Let's use it all. If a little's good, a lot's better, right? Unless it's the salt. Unless it's the salt. <laughs> We're just going to mix that up real good. So that's what you're looking for there. It's kind of a, a salty, sugary mess. All right, so the salmon, it looks like this right now. We're going to leave the skin on it. We're just going to set it in there just so it has a little coating on it. And we're going to place them in here like that. We're going to do that with each one of them. Where that knife go, babe? There it is. Tomorrow, when we take it out of this brine, it's going to look completely different. It's not going to look like this at all. You'll see how the salt and the brown sugar draws all the moisture out of the salmon, which is curing it, which is exactly what we're after. We want to cure it. Look how it's already drawing the moisture out of that salmon. This is the first time I've done sockeye. I've done king salmon before, and it turned out great. I I've never done the sockeye, so I don't know what's gonna happen with that, but we'll find out. That's what we're looking at now. And then tomorrow when we pull it out, it'll be, uh, you'll be able to see the salmon again, and, and all that brown sugar will just turn to, to moisture as it draws the, the moisture out of the salmon. It'll just be sitting in a bowl of soup. Hey everybody, okay, we made it back. Uh, well, actually we didn't make it back. This today's Sunday, happy Sunday, fun day. Um, we had a chance to take Sadie and Jordy to the lake today, to the boat show. That was pretty cool. Um, got to look at some cool boats. Uh, got to watch Jordy run up and down. He's a funny little dude. <laughs> and, uh, you know, talk to some people out there, enjoy some nice weather. Came back, got some lunch, and uh, now we're back. Salmon. So back to the salmon. And here so he yes, goes. yesterday, if you'll remember, we talked about what's going to happen in this, in this, uh, with this salmon with the dry rub. So we just put brown sugar and salt, left it for 24 hours probably, and so now we're going to unveil this, and it should be like I explained it to you earlier. So, drum roll, please. Voila. Woo. Look at that. That's a soupy mess. Yeah, that's a soupy mess. Okay, so we're going to rinse it off. Queso? Did I say queso? Queso. Queso. So we're going to rinse this off, get all the brown sugar and everything off of it, put it on this drying rack, and then uh, let it dry for a little while, and then we'll put it on the smoker. And uh, then we're going to make some potatoes and 
we got all kinds of fun stuff planned for dinner. <laughs> uh, we washed it off. It's cured. Um, you could probably eat it like that, but we're going to smoke it anyway. Again, this is sockeye. I've never done sockeye, so we'll see what, what happens with that. But anyway, so it's going to sit here and it's going to dry for probably, I don't know, until it gets a little tacky. So this, is, this has been drying for a little while. And it's a little bit, uh, it's probably not tacky enough. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But we're going to put that on there like this. And Beth came up with a great idea. This is the cured salmon here, the one that looks kind of dark. It's sockeye. It's thin. So I'm not sure really what's going to happen. We saved a couple of pieces that we were going to cook later. But we're going to go ahead and smoke them at the same time as we're smoking these and have a little taste test and see if, uh, see which one's better. We're going to get started with some potatoes, extraordinary potatoes. Is that how you say that? Sure, honey. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and now, a word from our sponsor. Miller Lite, the new Corona. There's comments below. <laughs> so now, the only question is, what kind of wood to use for the smoke? What a stupid question that is. What a stupid question. Looks like we're gonna use apple. Now, you guys don't be making fun of my smoker. It's very well seasoned. Oops, I got those at the wrong. That's <laughs> at the wrong angle, but that's all right. So we've got the salmon on the smoker. You guys got to witness that. We're going to do some potatoes. Bam! We're going to do Brussels sprouts over here in the oven. The potatoes and all that stuff's going to, all of this is going in the, with the potatoes. This is going to be cooked by itself. Mushrooms, uh, bell pepper with uh, some garlic, minced garlic, and some minced ginger. We've got asparagus, some rosemary, onions, mushrooms, did I say that already? Potatoes. Bam. We're going to put it in the, uh, in the wok. All right, here we go with the taters. The uh, salmon is out there on the smoker. I'm going to put some olive oil in here. Extra virgin. Oh, yeah. Everglades original. Or as Beth likes to call it, evergreen. We're going to let that do this thing for a minute before we add the rest of the craziness. Brussels sprouts and bacon bits, but <laughs> it's the bomb.com. So here we go. The smoked salmon, we already tried that. Awesome. Potato, asparagus, red pepper, rosemary, yummy. We'd be doing this anyway, so we thought we'd film it and, and let you guys ride along with us. It was fun. If you haven't already, subscribe. You have a bone, purple. Mm. Might have overdone that one a little bit. That's a little chewy, but smoked, brined and smoked, sockeye, first time I ever did sockeye, awesome. Brussels sprouts, can't beat that, because it came from sprouts. 
Live and learn. That's what we do. I wouldn't have thought so.